hi everyone welcome back to the channel so in today's diy we are making this tic-tac-toe game i have made it with a little bit of a twist where you can interchange between xoxo and x and heart for valentine i hope you all enjoy this video and let's get started so for this diy i have used this home decor folk art chalk paint that i got from michael's you can also get that from hobby lobby I'm using this foam dies. They come in a pack of two and they are available at Dollar Tree. And if you are in Canada, they are available at Dollarama and they are just a dollar for a pack of two foam dies. I have already applied one coat of the chalk paint to my dies and this is the second coat that I am applying. You can also use acrylic paint if you wish to but the few difference between using the chalk paint versus the acrylic paint is that the chalk paint dries very fast and you can apply the second coat or the third coat in just like less than 15 to 20 minutes i have also heard that acrylic paint tends to crack when you it applied on the foam so that's why i just prefer to use the chalk paint over the acrylic paint so i'm just going uh, to apply the second coat on all of my dies for this diy i have also used the three dies from my previous project that i did around the fall time so you will be seeing in this project that i'm just painting my six dies so the three dies i'm just repurposing it from my previous diy so i will let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes before i apply my third and the final coat so for the base or the board i got this from michael's this is the wood plug it was 8.8 .8 by 8.8 .8. in size it was 3.99 canadian dollars and i used the coupon on that i'm using this burnt umber acrylic paint again i got that from the dollar tree i like this shade of brown because it just seems i am staining my wood i'm just going to do one coat of this paint i'm not going to go for the full coverage because i want it to look as if i have stained my wood just make sure you get into each and every corner of this wooden plaque. okay so for our next step we are using this jenga blocks again i got this from dollar tree we are using 12 jenga blocks so they come in a pack like this this step is totally optional if you don't want to make the dividers for your game board you can skip the step and use the same burnt umber color that i got from the dollar tree and i'll just do one coat of this paint on all of these Jenga blocks. You can leave them the way they are or you can use any other color that you wish. I have also seen in some of the boxes they come in a combination of two colors. So one is this lighter shade and then the other one is this espresso, almost the espresso uh, shade of brown that comes in the box of the Jenga block at the Dollar Tree. So if you can get that, you can just use those instead. Okay, so I went ahead and placed my foam dice and I am placing the Jenga blocks in between the foam dice so I know where I would be sticking those blocks so that I can create the perfect dividers for the game board. So I'm going to place all my 12 dice and in between those dice there would be the blocks and then I can measure it up mark it up and then I'll stick it up with the e6000 
So I have placed all my six foam dies in there. So I'll be using the E6000. I'll take out the foam dies. And then I'll just go ahead and mark it with the pencil so I know where I am going to stick the block. It's always better to measure it out after you have sticked the block that the dice is able to fit in properly in between the dividers. Same way I'm just going to mark each block and make the dividers using the E6000 and gluing it to the block onto the board. So I have already cut this heart and X and O on my cutting machine. You can use a Cricut or the Silhouette if you have. If you don't have any cutting machine, you can use the stickers that are available at the Dollar Tree and Michaels. The other option is you can use the stencil. So there is alphabet stencil available and there is also this shape stencil available at the Dollar Tree and Michaels. I am going to place my O on one side of the dice and on the exactly the opposite side I am going to place my heart so that I can interchange between the O and the heart when I need to. Also for this game because there are 9 dice you will have to choose either you want to have 5 O's or heart or you want to have 5 X so you will be having 5 of 1 and the four of the other one so you can have four x or four heart you can choose whichever you prefer i prefer to have five hearts and four x on my game you can see i have repurposed my fall dice for the stick tac toe game and you can see the f on one side but I was totally fine reusing those dies for this project. So this is how they look when it's XO XO. And I'll just go ahead and place all my dice and flip it over and it turns to the Valentine themed tic-tac-toe game. I was very happy with the way they turned out and I can use this something year around. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already and if you enjoyed today's DIY, please leave this video a thumbs up and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.